Thank you, guys. Welcome to the show. This is Andre with Yup, I Said It. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification, please, and watch the video as long as you possibly can. I know it's not a short. I know you want to look, you want to, you want to jump up and do something. <laughs> just, just sit down for a minute, enjoy the show because they are trying to pretend that these videos of surfacing of Joe Biden are fake, and they're not. And we want you guys to know the truth. Okay, we have to get the truth out to you uh, before they destroy the evidence, <laughs> throw away the emails and stuff. You know, uh, but there's no way in the world that this is made up. All right, everybody should know that by now, but. Uh, it's just really, really absolutely fascinating to watch these people try to lie about what we see. And it's everywhere. It's all over the Internet. And there's no way in the world you can scrub the servers. All right, guys? Okay, mainstream media? We can see that Joe Biden is uh, very helpless. All right? He has to be surrounded by people all the time. But uh, specifically this video I did yesterday about Barack Obama taking Joe Biden and pulling him by the hand off of the stage. Um, for some reason, this is the one that they didn't like. They did not like that. It's a bad look. It really is a truly bad look for Joe Biden. Uh, and it says a lot about, as I said yesterday, it's indicative of how he runs uh, his presidency. And he's not because he's not really actually running it. He's getting a helping hand quite literally. I'm going to go ahead and react to this Fox uh, video here, guys. And it's pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty fascinating stuff, you know. Let's talk a little bit about this. We've been showing you these uh, very unfortunate for the Biden campaign, these videos of Joe Biden where he is at different events. Keep in mind, they are so, you know, there's so much stagecraft now involved in getting the president out and about. They want him out. It to takes a lot to get him out. It does take a lot because they've got to figure out how does he get from the airplane to the limo? How does he get from the limo to the stage? How Without does he falling. get uh, to read the prompter and then get off? The unfortunate thing is in those unscripted moments, like where he is in Italy, what does he do? Rather than looking at the parachutist in front of him, he starts looking at one behind him. And then the Italian prime minister goes over and drags him over. Hey, Mr. President, all the cameras are this way. Okay, so what? So was that made up? Did that look like AI? <laughs> Did that look like it was edited? Because that's what cringe John Pierre is saying, that these videos have been edited. You know, they're already trying to push a narrative that this has been edited. As if people wouldn't believe, like, as if they actually believe that Joe Biden is really as sharp as a tack, right? He's not. He's not sharp at all, guys. And this is very sad to watch it. And they're throwing him out there because they can control him. Bottom line. White House says that there are people out there who are trying to make Joe Biden look bad and says that this video, which we've shown you from start, start to finish, for the most part, is fake. It's not. Watch. I think there is so much misinformation, disinformation, as we've been talking about. You talked about the video of the president wandering, and it's not true, right? The president wasn't wandering. He was talking to uh, a parachuter that was right in front of him. And what you saw is uh, the Republican Party really manipulating what was being said and what was being seen by the American people. It's also very insulting to the folks who are the viewers who are watching it. And so we believe we have to call that out. <laughs> what, what, she's insulting us, alleging that we're not seeing what we see and, and, and then shifting the blame. You know, Steve, you, you've talked about this before, about the spin. And we all know the, the White House press secretary, that's their job, the spin for the White House. To protect the president. At least come up with something more original. Say something like the president, you know, admires the paratroopers. And, you know, it wasn't the right time, but he did wander over there. You know, say something like, well, the president couldn't dance at the Juneteenth thing. So he just froze. And, but don't deny what all of America right. is seeing. And that's and why it's so damaging. Exactly. That's their entire campaign. All right. To deny the things that are going on. All right. Uh, you know, you don't see inflation, guys. Remember, you don't see that. It's not happening. I don't care what the prices say at the store. Uh, we said that it's not actually happening. So it's not happening. Get your eyeballs checked. Right. That's what they're telling you. All right. Because because when things are very clear, they want you to think that your eyes are lying to you. You know, George Orwell, you know, that's what, you know, four plus four. Is ten. That's what. That's what they want you to believe. 
But when you look at the polling, it's all partisan. The entire thing is partisan when it comes to the mental and cognitive uh, situation of the president. When you look at Republicans, 92% of Republicans are saying, look, there's a problem there. Independence is 72%. But then when you go to Democrats, it's 29%. So the independents and Republicans are saying it, but the Democrats feel, Ainsley, that they have to protect the man. Well, I mean, how can it be fake? We saw Barack Obama grab his mm -hmm. wrist and pull him off the stage. Come on, Joe, how can it be go. fake? We saw the prime minister of Italy walk over in front of all the other world leaders and try to turn Joe Biden around so he would face the direction of where all the other world leaders were facing. It's not edited. It's not edited. Yeah, so it's, a, it's really unbelievable that Karee, uh, KJP would leave her communications meeting and go, I got a great thing to do. Let's condemn Republicans. Let's call the New York Post a super PAC for the GOP. Uh, let's condemn anybody that would just uh, would, would say, look at that video and think this guy is too old and he might just be out of it. Mm -hmm. And this is different between not dancing. I'm a master at it. <laughs> Anyone who's seen me at a wedding? Right. I, I do two things. <laughs> I, I, help the, I help the bride and the groom by not dancing. <laughs> and number two, but I don't freeze in place like right. a robot. I have right? seen you, Brian. You right. will, you, you have a pulse, right. and you you might <laughs> you <laughs> might sway a little bit. Right. The I'll, Juneteenth video is extraordinary yeah. because <laughs> like Joe this. Biden. That's the threshold. You have a pulse. <laughs> you got a hundred people in a, in a picture, and the only person who is not moving. I challenge but look, you, guys. Look, I mean, look at Joe Biden. Okay, the only muscle that he's moving is his lips. He's smiling. That's it. That's all he's got. This is so weird. Okay, look at these. Look at these people right here. I'm <clears throat> sorry. Um, I don't really judge on personal appearance. I mean, I'm you know I really like to hear what people have to say. You know, I'm really interested in intellectual conversations. Um, you know, but look at this picture here. Look, <laughs> just look at what we got going on. <laughs> okay, we are in trouble, man. We're in absolute trouble, guys. You, you know, um, we're in trouble. All right, because Joe Joe Biden seems to be very senile. Uh, and he pretty can, he much, pretty much can't move uh, that much at all. And, and so they're, they're always talking about the, the difference between him and Trump, and that he's so much better and he's so much he much so much sharper. I heard someone say, I think it was Chink Uger of the Young Turks, said that you know Trump's IQ uh, used to be twenty, now it's fifteen. And Joe Biden, he said it's way lower than Joe Biden's. <laughs> what do you say to that? Other than just go to a Trump rally. And Donald Trump talks for hours. He dances. He talks. He's right on point. He's saying exactly what people want to hear. And they know this. They know Joe Biden is getting cooked. Okay. They know it. They absolutely know it. And it's just no hiding it anymore. Like I said. Look at his hands, too. Listen, his hands, he's it, frozen. He's frozen, indeed. And I, every person I can see is moving. That's the problem for it. The, the White House says, well, he's just taking just it all swaying. in. It's not even a dance. They're just swaying. I mean, right. Just clap your he's hands. Just Everyone can do that. Right. I mean, you, it. the thing is, too, if you watch his put his glasses on with the oh, with the giant, the G7, yeah. you Maybe see how gingerly he's putting his glasses yeah, so on? Yeah, so slowly. As if, if someone's doing like some, uh, you can't manipulate that video. Yeah. He looks frozen. But all and Mitch McConnell, I'll give you an example. Mitch McConnell froze twice yeah, he did. after his head injury. Right. Nobody said he didn't freeze. All Republicans Can you imagine if, if anybody said, well, well, leave Mitch McConnell alone, he, did, he was fine. Right. No, he's not fine. But I'm, Now he's fine, but then he wasn't. But Brian, the most damaging video is the, the, the video of the former president, Barack Obama. The way he grabs Joe Biden. Yeah, why I did mean, he do that? As, as but as the a, Biden as, people are mad at that. Yeah, yes. But you know what? Stop putting them in this position. Stop. Yeah, of course they're mad at it because we got we get to see all this stuff on video. They don't have a choice. That's why I say they don't really they can't really do anything. Look, he has to bring uh, Barack Obama uh, there to uh, you know rescue him. You know it, this is this has been going on for a long time. You know he's always got to come on campaign for Joe Biden. Why does somebody have to come on campaign for you? Why do you have to show your face just so somebody else gets money? That's what's going on here in Hollywood. And if you if you ask me, guys. Uh, you know, when it comes to Joe Biden, you, you might ask yourself, like, why are they doing all this? Why, why is Joe Biden getting away with, uh, you know, open borders? And why is he getting away with all this? I'm going to tell you what I think. And I think I'm pretty accurate uh, on, on what I'm about to say. Me personally, I think that Joe Biden feels so guilty about the things he said in the past, about hanging out with Klan's members, um, about the 94 crime bill, all the about busing, busing. 
uh, like Kamala Harris said uh, right there on the debate stage. Um, I think that he feels really guilty. He has a white guilt, really. I really do. That's why he's been able to get away with so much. And that's why, um, you know, that all this is happening uh, because, uh, you know, black liberals just only want one thing. They want to they want their Democrat Party president to be in office forever because they feel like he loves them. All right. And we know the truth. OK, this is this is this is, uh, you know, this is proof here. that Joe Biden, he doesn't even know how to act around black people. He doesn't know how to act around them. All right. Because he's, he's absolutely froze when when everybody's clapping and dancing. This is crazy. Right. I believe in them. There is no other foreign leader or former. Think about even back in the days when the Carters were still out on the national stage. Hey, there was no grabbing the Carters by the wrist or former President Clinton. Like right. that just does not happen. Why wow. did Barack Obama feel like he had to do that? Uh, you know, KJ. Great question. Why did Barack Obama feel like he had to grab Joe by the hand and pull him off stage? It was so bad for them that they had to come out and say the video was edited. Man, I'm telling you, liars are just nasty, man. They ruin everything. They ru Liars ruin everything, man. They really do. Just tell people the truth. If they think that these cover-ups are going to uh, win them another election, that, you know, it's nothing to see here, they're sadly mistaken. They really are, man. Everybody can see it. Uh, you know, it's very rare to walk into a, a place and... Uh, to start talking about politics and people are happy with Joe Biden. It wasn't always that way. Uh, uh No, no, no. When Joe Biden first got elected, you better not say anything bad about him. It's not like that anymore. People can clearly see what's going on. AP said the president was just taking it all in. OK, then why did Obama say, OK, Joe, time oh, to go. But, but you know what? Obama was standing right next to him oh, taking it in and he's waving like and, most other world leaders. And do. the reason the White House is probably steamed is because there's this this undercurrent yeah. about, it. OK, we got these deep fakes. We can't have bad looking video. And then yesterday at that Dreamer event at the White House, what happened did it again? Joe Biden can't remember the name of that guy that he appointed to DHS secretary. Watch this and listen to it. My name's Joe Biden. I'm Jill Biden's husband. <laughs> Thanks to all the members of Congress and Homeland Security Secretary. I'm not sure going to do show all the way. But all kidding aside. All right, so who manipulated the video? Was it Ainsley or was it you, Lawrence? Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, so that was, a, that was a great moment. Studio, maybe. So embarrassing, man, to hear somebody fumble like that. Man. And the only thing you can do as a Democrat is say it didn't happen and it's not his fault and, and, and this and this and that. It's not going to stick, guys. Not this time. OK, it's just not going to stick. I can't wait till these people lose. November can't come fast enough, bro. It just can't come fast enough. Is this an AI video uh, edited, you know, or are we really seeing this? I'm starting to think I'm crazy. Are we in a damn matrix? <laughs> All right, no, we're not. All right, Joe Biden's really doing this stuff. Uh, the proof is out there. You can look at the videos. Uh, if you s still having trouble trying to figure out who to vote for, him or Trump, there's something wrong with your brain. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. This has been Yup, I Said It. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.